Supersymmetry is a very interesting idea. The idea is that for every particle, there is a partner which has the opposite spin symmetry in the, in the following sense. If you have a spin one-half particle, its partner is spin zero. If you have a spin zero particle, its partner is spin one-half. Now, supersymmetry is a highly desirable type of symmetry in theory because it solves the so-called hierarchy problem. We have, a, we have some scales, energy scales, in which physics occurs, and they are quite far apart. We have the so-called electroweak scale. Uh, we have the, the so-called grand unification scale, which is about 16 orders of magnitude beyond the weak scale. And then we have the Planck scale, where, part, where gravity and quantum theory have to come together. Now, there are some, something called quantum fluctuations, which if you apply them, would push these scales to be together at the very highest levels. So that if you want to keep these scales separated, the theory has to be fine-tuned to one part in 10 to the 28th, which is very unpleasant. And uh, you would say to yourself, why would nature have to tune itself to, to such a high degree to be, to be correct? It is, it is, uh, so most physicists think that this is artificial, and there has to be some mechanism to keep these energy scales apart in nature. Now, the other thing about supersymmetry, which is very interesting, is, is that it seems to be required in theories that unite gravity and quantum theory. For example, um, uh, string theory requires supersymmetry. Uh, and any other theory which tries to do what super, uh, string theory does, like gravity loop theory and things of that nature. Um, Now, the one thing about supersymmetry uh, is that it's a broken symmetry because the supersymmetric particles do not have the same masses as their partners. And in the first approximation, it appears that to do the job of keeping the energy scales apart, one needs supersymmetric particles in the TeV range. And this is where LHC is looking. And so there is great hope that LHC may find evidence of supersymmetric particles. Of course, uh, in some models, the supersymmetric particles are very hard to observe. They take a long time because they have unusual decay uh, products or decay paths. Uh, but I think they'll be, LHC will search for these things. But I also think that if the LHC does not find supersymmetry, it is very likely to find something else which is a surrogate for supersymmetry.